Okay, YouTuber, I got a 2009 Nissan Armada. That's Nissan Armada. I'm hooking an, uh, an aftermarket amplifier. I'm using the factory stereo. I do have, I did have a lot of problems uh, that you're gonna have to watch the full video to understand this whole concept. If not, you're not gonna get the right sound. So at the end, we'll tell you the right hookup the the first is it was basically an experiment it's not an experiment it's supposed to work but it got no sound so i had to experiment uh this car so it's done now though okay youtube i got a 2000 <laughs> nissan armada i'm installing an amplifier well we're gonna put an amplifier right in the back right here, we're gonna put an amp, mount an amp right there. We're gonna run a power wire right there. This is ground. You can ground it right there on the side. Over here on the side right here, there's a metal piece. I'm gonna show you that later. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna take this uh, panel off right here. We're not gonna take that off to the speaker. So what we did, what I did, I ran the uh, RCA jack, a remote wire, as you can see right here, an RCA jack and remote wire. I'm going to run it right there, down there, and coming up here, and then uh, you don't have to take the whole radio off because this radio is not easy to take out, the other clip is not easy. So what I did, I take a plastic clip, I'm going to loosen this thing right here kind of hard to do one hand but you basically have to pry it around here I'm gonna pause it for a second but that's what you do you pry it all around here with a plastic clip something soft I mean not soft but plastic now as you can see once you pry it all off there's three clip right there you just pull it out like this some people prefer, prefer to take this piece off there's a clip right here you can push it and pull it out for the cigarette lighter I'm not gonna do that too much work so you basically gonna see this wire stick a wire right there what I'm looking for is the uh, light blue and black yellow which is the left rear so you kind of pull that letter light blue and black yellow I'm 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 gonna look right there. There's there's two big uh, wrap around here. I'm, I'm gonna just search for it and then I'll show you seconds. Okay, underneath the see uh, underneath uh, behind the radio under onto the right of the steering wheel, you see an amplifier. What I've used, I use the uh, self tapper screw. It's easier to tap instead of uh, trying to get this wire, this uh, brown wire out right there. You know, you want to push the back, there's a, a clip, you push one of the back in the middle, and then you pull it down. But that's too much work, I'm not going to try to do all that work. So, what I what I use is a T-tab, it's a lot easier. You just take a plier and crimp it, uh, put the T-tab inside, and, and uh, align the uh, wire, and crimp it, and that's how I use, and the positive side would be uh, light blue so and then black and yellow is the negative side I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the kicker kiss lock uh, it's a kiss lock it's a high low converter line out converter LOC some people prefer to call it sorry YouTube sometimes it's kind of hard for me to uh, uh, take a video and uh, do it at the same time so what I usually do I kind of shortcut it a little bit because I'm trying to you know not spending two people uh, having two people try to video uh, one people video and one people doing the work that's just a lot of work for me because this is a business i am been doing this for past 20 years and uh, I mean YouTube is just something that I uh, post it so I can check it back and see if I forgot a certain color, a certain wire, um, you know, 
um, going back to my own channel and watching my own YouTube. So here, here we go. So I got a, that kiss lock kickers. What I did, I hook up the white and black, gray and black together, which is the negative side. And then white and gray is positive side. So the positive side on this one, I'm going to hook it up to the uh, light blue. And then the negative side, I would hook it up to the black and yellow. So here we go. So I got right here is I already hooked everything up. As you can see, I don't have to do this brown wire. Sometimes you need it if it's making crazy noise. Uh, so I hook up an RCA jack and run this to the back. I'm going to wire it up right around here and self tie, I mean, uh, and zip tie it. Okay, for the remote, what I've used is the. Uh, the uh well i pulled this whole panel out using the uh plastic just pry them out you don't want to use a flat head metal flat head screwdriver anything like that you might damage this part so use something that is plastic soft so uh i tap the red wire which is the remote wire or the blue wire most people prefer blue I don't I could not order any blue wire so I use the red wire I hook it up to the uh, uh, green and white that's green and white right there for the power for the accessory basically so you wanna you wanna use uh, the uh, one on the uh, right hand side because the right hand side when you shut the car off the uh, cigarette lighter stop working too so if you use this side which is the green color it's gonna stay on all the time you don't want to use this side you want to use the green and white what I'm doing right now I'm a uh, this is the ground I ran the ground through from here on the bottom here I'm gonna use it about that much in case they open this I'm not sure this is open but uh Yeah, maybe not, but anyway, I'm going to make it long enough, at least uh, not supposed to be that much, but I'm going to do about two feet, so right there, cut it. For that. Oh, shit. I Alright. I got the spade terminal ground. Take it off. Let the big one go in first. I usually do that. Right there, you don't want any of this coming out of copper. So I'm crimping one side first. You can get this crimper from Home Depot, they got them. I don't see it at low. So Home Depot, oh, they got this tool about 30 uh, 45 dollars for the tool. So I got that now. I'm basically just gonna try to use the same length. So I'm gonna get the power right there. About the same length. Cut it right there. Shave that little plastic off. Same thing. Like I said, don't crimp it all. One, you crimp one side for like this. Let it tight, and then this one on top of it. And watch your finger right here. So now I'm gonna put it on the positive side. All am are the same one. For the battery, you want to go with the positive. And this, you can see it. Okay, good. You go right there. That's positive side. Make sure it's on the positive side. If you don't, you're gonna end up burning the customer's amp or something. Oop, where's that black piece at? Right here. I wanna cover that. The ground's on the top, and the remote wire I ran from the cigarette lighter. I'm gonna use the same length. Cut that. Cut about a half, less than half an inch. Loosen that.
tighten it. And then now I'm gonna do the speaker, speaker wire. Speaker wire, I usually don't cut it first. I'm gonna use the whole wire, not cutting. I'll tell you why I'm not cutting it later. Get the red to the red, black to the black. This is some I'm gonna put the positive. This is a mono block, so you got a negative on the bottom. Oh, negative right there. One more. Power. One more. You don't want any of these wires sticking out. As you can see, you don't need a spade terminal for this because it's only the speaker wire. So now, clean this thing up. And here's the reason why I don't mention anything about cutting that wire. And I'm going to take the speaker box. Oh, plug the RCA jack to the input. Right here is the input. It doesn't matter where, left or right, it doesn't matter. Make sure you turn the amp the gain down. So now I'm gonna put the speaker box. The speaker box. Oh, and... Right there. Here's the reason why I'm, I mentioned that you don't wanna cut this yet. What I, I'm gonna do, cause this is shorter, See, I'm make it shorter right here so the long wire can go this way, so the short wire can come this way. Cut right here. And uh, ground to the ground, and positive to the positive. We got it to the ground right there. And then now, do the part of this. Now I'm gonna hide the wire a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep it for them, the amp right here, the speaker right here, so they have some room to put some stuff in here. Clean up the, my wiring right there by putting the, uh, make it look a little bit cleaner for the customer right here and then just screw it in yeah. okay so that's it now all we have to do is hook up the power wire in the front okay that uh, do a couple settings on the factory radio. So what you want to do, you want to press setting, press enter on the audio, and then you want to go all the way down to right here. Make sure the speed sensitive volume is off, okay? Speed sensitive is off, so that way when you drive, you're not going to get noise. That's it. And uh, now I'm going to go back and play some music. And make sure my amp is. All right, I'm gonna take this radio out. Clip Might have to turn the key on for a minute so you can move the shift. Uh, push that in. Pull it out and look for it. Push like right that. This how you push it. You push that in and pull it out. Clip. And 
and uh, uh, you might need a flat head. Same thing, there's a clip in there. Come out, then you're gonna take this Phillips right there. One, got another one, and there's another two on the top. Right there, you can see it right there. I don't know, my extension is long enough. I'll make an extension this long right here so I can get that out. <laughs> One more. down there the bottom now I'm gonna pry this thing out right there pull it from the bottom right right here just come right out and then just right there but that's gonna come out so here I got the radio on the back. So I'm gonna look for a speaker wire, which is the uh, can you see it right there? Looking for light blue, light blue and black yellow. Basically, the Y that I seen was right there, but this is a little bit different. This clip, I took it out. A uh, black and white is a ground, which is negative side. I'm gonna use a T-tap again, and then the one next to it is the light blue. Use a T-tap again. That's for left rear, basically. I'm going to run the speaker wire to my high-low converter that I used earlier. It didn't work out very really well for me. There was no sound after I hooked it up. Yep. Okay. Okay, the black and white go to the negative, and then the blue go to the positive. I'm going to plug it right back in that radio. Actually, I gotta run this out there first. Put it down there like that. Should be able to reach it later. Plug it back in. Make sure everything is in there right. There. So now I'm gonna run it back to the high low converter, which is down here that I tried to use earlier didn't work very well there was no sound 
So I'm gonna pull this wire that, that was to the amp. You, can you see it? I'm gonna pull it out because that's it's got, it's got a bow system, so that's why it's not sounding right. And where's that wire that I got? speak a wire that I got that'll run from there what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna crimp everything to this one I'm gonna crimp the red wire actually the black wire I'm gonna put it to the white black crimp it because earlier we, there was no sound so that's why I had to take the radio out and uh, go do the other route from the radio and then now the gray and white to the positive side I want to make sure it's working first, so... Okay, let's try this radio and see if it plays if not. YouTube, what's going on right here? I've been working on this for approximately two hours already. I'm trying to figure what's going on, why it's not working. Looking at YouTube, ain't nobody put anything on YouTube. So I did what I did. I split the RCA jack. What I mean by splitting the jack is uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you from here and then I'll, I'll explain it later. I got a positive right here, which is this is speaker wire I'm, I'm doing. A positive, I'm gonna hook it up to the blue wire right here. Light blue. Oh, light blue or dark blue, it looks the same. I can't do it by one hand, so two hands. And then the, the black wire, which is negative of the speaker wire, I'm hook it up to the black and white. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna go kind of put it back a little bit in there not put it all the way I'm gonna come back down here right here that speaker wire that I ran where they all at huh. right here that speaker right there is right here and here is my RCA jack I'm gonna remove that from there and come in here so I can reach it. I'm gonna have to cut the jack. I'm gonna have to cut the RCA jack. I don't know if you can see it. But it's gonna be like that. And here's the speaker wire. I'm gonna cut this part right here. Cut it. I'll cut it so I can use something for something out later. I don't wanna waste it. Cut right there, take a knife. And split in half. RCA jack, they have different color on a certain of them, but uh, this is kind of different too. This is made by Raptor Install Bay. <clears throat> Just make sure you don't do it too hard. Pull it out like. Oh, I pull too much. Oh, 
you see, I put it like this. I think cutting that well. Come on, Jack. RCA Jack, I really can break it easy. Cut this piece. Because my knife blade is not sharp enough. So, do another one. Earlier I was afraid I cut my finger, so... So what I used is the uh, gray on this one. The gray is going to be a negative. Both of the gray. There's gray on one side and there's another gray on one side. I'm going to strip that. Strip this again. Not too hard because RCA jack are easy to break. So both of the gray I'm doing... It's going to go to the negative side of the speaker wire, which is black. Tape it, crimped it. Now, the other side, which is the positive of the RCA jack, which is the to the male, if you're using uh, the tester and test it, crimp that for the positive. It's a little bit confusing because I, my RCA jack's a little short. That's why I couldn't really show everything the right way but that's how it is i'm gonna pull all my tool out so now i'm gonna put everything back well hold on before i put everything back i'm just gonna align this real quick that i'm gonna turn it on let's see if the sound play if it plays it's good if it doesn't play Silk Sonic, Doja Cat, Dan and Shay, and more. Hold on for a second. Let's see. Just close the trunk. Spray on hard surfaces to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses initially, including the virus that causes COVID-19. Microband 24 keeps killing bacteria for 24 hours. Touch I don't think after it's playing, touch. Is it? When used as directed, Microband 24. Touch after touch, it doesn't give up. Mm. Okay, earlier didn't play, so what I'm gonna do, I'm pull it out again. I think the blue, uh, the black and uh, blue, it's not the right one. So I'm gonna use the uh, purple which is violet you can call it violet and light green uh teal actually not light green teal because i test on that it was working i i got this uh t-tap done already that's why i didn't really i think it should work but it didn't because the uh the uh, black and white and uh dark blue was supposed to lead the right rear left rear so now i got purple to the negative and then light uh it look like light green i don't have a light it teal is right next to it i think it's light green is it light green okay so i'm gonna turn it on and let's see if it play it should play So I'm sorry if you don't uh, finish watching this whole video, uh, if you're going to hook up to something else and you think it's going to be the right one, 
it's not so you gotta watch through the ending like like right now if not it's not gonna work so thank you for watching